New at 10, Republican state leaders here in North Carolina now pushing for a ban on nearly all abortions after 20 weeks of pregnancy. This is new information tonight. Queen City News reporter Robin Kennedy has more on how lawmakers are trying to restore the state law. Robin? That's right, Alicia. Major developments tonight after Roe v. Wade was overturned. North Carolina Senate leader Phil Berger and House Speaker Tim Moore, both Republicans, wrote to Attorney General Josh Stein, a Democrat, today. They're asking him to restore a state law which banned almost all abortions after 20 weeks. Now, this is showing that they're willing to act through the courts. If they go through the legislature, the Democratic governor will veto any abortion ban. Friday's historic decision by the U.S. Supreme Court to overturn Roe v. Wade is already having an impact in North Carolina. You're going to have more and more women coming out of state to, to get an abortion in North Carolina. And things are also set to heat up politically. It may not just play out at the ballot box in terms of passing uh, pro-life or pro-choice legislation, but I think it's going to um, accelerate the culture wars that are in this country now. And I, I don't think it's going to be um, pretty. State Senator Natasha Marcus, a Democrat representing Mecklenburg County, has filed a bill to codify the protection of Roe and maintain what she calls the status quo in North Carolina. We cannot allow our state to slide backwards on a right as fundamental as a decision about whether you have to have a forced pregnancy or not. State Representative Jeffrey McNeely, a Republican representing Iredell County, does not believe there's really any rush for the Republican controlled legislature to pass any abortion ban during the upcoming special session in Raleigh. I think this is something that's going to take a little bit of time to make sure that we get it right. I do not think we can get this done in two weeks time. Now, Representative McNeely adds that he believes abortion should be legal in the case of rape or incest or when a mother's life is in jeopardy. And he also adds that if the state puts in an abortion ban, they're going to also have to make more adoptions more affordable and accessible. He says it's really a two-part equation. Alicia.